Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you this adorable little mini pocket. It's a little small envelope with a lid. It's basically a little pocket. You can put cash in, you can put a credit card, you can put an ID, anything, and I actually attached some string to the top of it and now I can hang it, um, put it under my shirt or on top. It's a very discreet way to, to carry some valuables. Um, the uh, design is Fumiaki Shingu. That uh, I found this on the Origami Club website. So if you haven't seen the Origami Club website, check it out. It's amazing. I'll put the link below. Um, this is just an adorable little little model. So I want to show you. So what you need to make this little project is you need three pieces of paper, uh, one for the lid, one for the um, for the base, and I've got a little small he, uh, piece here for the heart that I'm going to attach to it. But you don't have you can attach anything you want to it or keep it plain. So I have to decide what I want to have as my body and what is the lid. So this one I think this will be the body, uh, but I'll do the lid first. So the first one is I'm going to take the paper and I'm going to fold it in half and the pattern side is facing down. Just fold it in half in both directions. And now I'm going to um, fold the piece, this uh, bottom part, up to the center crease, the center horizontal crease. And I'm going to fold the out, outer corners to the center, the covered fold, like this. And I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to kind of fold it a little um, over the just a little. I'm going to make it more narrow. I'm just folding just a little bit over just to make this a little bit more narrow and you'll see what I mean uh, why I do that. Um, one side is going to be more narrow than the other so I'm just going to take this one and open it up just a little. So I'm going to just open it up about a little like this and then I'm going to let that fold uh, go more narrow. So if you can see I've, I've purposefully made it wider at the top and more narrow at the bottom. Just a little bit. It doesn't need a lot, but just it really will help with this. So the next step is I'm going to fold the bottom edge, which has been unfo um, not folded yet. There's a uh, fold crease line here. I'm folding it up to that crease line. And I'm going to give these folds a very, I'm just going to reinforce the folds. And what I need to do now is I need to take this narrow edge and use this part here as a pocket. I'm going to take the narrow edge and I'm going to just tuck it into this pocket. Um, however, and it's a little tough because you've got to get that in and then you have to let that kind of insert that and then just let it lay flat. And I just have to kind of push it in, slide it in as far as it will go until it lays flat. And sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, coaxing, you know, just get that to where it lays flat. So tuck it in as far as it will go. And then once you get that uh, nice and flat, then go ahead and make your crease. So what you've got is your top. Basically, it's like a little flat pocket and it could be, I'm ready to do the bottom now. So that's the top. Now the bottom, I'm going to take the uh, six inch piece of paper, the same size as this one, and I'm going to fold my uh, paper in half. Uh, it basically started the same way I started the first one. I'm just going to fold it in half in both directions. Okay, now I'm going to cupboard fold the uh, left and right edges to the center fold on both sides. Okay, and now I'm going to take the, the bottom edge, and I'm not going to fold it in half, I'm just folding it up about to about a quarter inch below the top edge. So I'm taking this edge and I'm going to give I'm basically just right here is where I'm going to land, hold my paper and then I'm going to crease down here. So I've just got a little, a little edge at the top. And now I'm going to take that edge and I'm going to fold it right over this raw edge that I just folded. So I'm just going to fold that down and give it a really sharp crease. Then I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to tuck it, insert it into this pocket. So I'm going to do this just like I did the envelope, or the top. I keep calling it an envelope, I don't know why. Well, because he calls it an envelope, that's why. So I've got 
just going to tuck that in and now I have my little pocket. My little pouch and you can see I'm hoping <laughs> that it slides and if because it's there we are I can slide that in. Now I can make this more narrow if I want which I'm going to do. I'll show you how. If it kind of grabs which it just did I can actually unfold this and just take a little bit of an edge pull that in just a little so that it's it's a little more narrow than the uh, lid. I can do this on both sides or just the one side but I'm going to do it on both sides. So you can see there's a little overlap and that's good. And it's always good. You can always adjust things as you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and tuck that back in where it was. Slide that. Get that little edge into this pocket. If you want you can glue this down. You can um, just put a little white glue or some double stick tape just to really secure it but it holds together without that. If you need, if you'd like to, you can just reinforce it a little bit. So now I've got it back to where it was and I'm going to take my uh, bottom and hopefully it'll slide better than it did before because it was kind of buckling a little bit. So there I've got it. Now it's sliding a lot better and now I've got my little um, pouch but I'm going to do, I'm going to add the little heart on top. So just to finish it off. So to make the heart, all right, now I'm going to fold, start the fold by, and this is a three inch piece, a uh, three inch square. So I'm going to fold it in half in both directions, just like I did the little pocket. And I'm going to take my bottom edge, fold it up to the, the horizontal crease. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to fold it these bottom edges to meet that center vertical crease on both sides. And I'm going to turn it over again so that I have this little colored pocket here with this edge here. These little edges are going to go fold right to the center vertical crease on both sides. Just have it meet. Okay, and now I'm going to fold these corners that I just made. I'm going to fold them down and this is where it's, since it's a small piece of paper, you just have to get, it's really small. <laughs> so you might need a tool to help you make those creases, but fold these creases right to this top edge. Next step is you're going to turn it, turn it to uh, rotate it. And I'm going to take this top uh, corner and I'm going to match it with the Below the, the, the corner below and I'm not going to crease it yet just yet because what I need to do and I'm going to grab a bone folder I'm going to crease it, everything but I'm not going to crease this part right here so I'm going to crease I'm just going to create a crease I'm going to take my finger I'm not creasing this part that's popping yet, be up yet I'm just going to go underneath and really give that a good crease and then what happens is we've got this little pocket our fingers are we're going to take that little fold there's a little uh, mountain fold. That little mountain fold, we just want to lay to lay on top of the fold that's right there. Do this on both sides. So now we have this. We've squished that down flat and now we will take our little point and we're going to tuck that in. So I'm just going to take that point. I'm going to push that, give, you know, just slide it into that little pocket that insert it right in there and it holds together really nice. And then I'm going to take these, the left and the right corners, I'm going to fold them down. And it doesn't matter if it's not matching. I'm going to, next step is I'm going to take the little parts. And if you can see, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold that down. Now it's so small, but this little top, folding these little top pieces down, is going to make a huge difference in the way it looks. So there's the heart. You can see how cute that is. Oops. <laughs> it's a little, and this is out of the three inch paper. So it's really perfect to fit right on top of my um, little piece here. I could put it down below if I want, or I can put it on the top. And I think it looks just really cute. You can mount that with a double stick tape. Here, I'll just show you the one that I made earlier. Let's see, and here's the one I put a string. I poked holes with the string. I just poked holes at the top and strung the string through and it is now functioning as a little pouch that I can wear and hold 
and it holds pretty snugly so it's not going to fall out but if you're really concerned about falling out you want to attach the string at the bottom and let and then also pull it through the top and then you'll have a sliding a top that goes off um, goes on the um, that that will be secure and it won't go anywhere so there you go i hope you enjoyed this project i think it's a fun project for any time of year for gifts for valentine's day you can change the little uh pieces up top to any theme you want any uh, style or small just something small and it looks really adorable so please if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you liked it and uh, the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this and as well as mixed media and art projects have a great day